Hey Aquarius, so we're gonna go ahead and get right into this reading. So, you read the title, you know what it's about. Since you've been gone, like, you know, I'm, I'm chilling that song, Since You've Been Gone. I'm chilling that song, I got a pocket, got a pocket full of sunshine, you know, by Natasha Bedingfield. But I feel like what's going on, people are wondering, like, where the fuck you been at? What the fuck you been doing? Like, what's the tea? Where is your hair? <laughs> All right, um, but anyways, everything you need to know about me is down below. If you want to book a reading, all that stuff, see me out of YouTube, on my other channels, vlogs, all that stuff. I'm also going to be putting up a new video, y'all. I'm trying to keep up, okay? Because I don't know what's going on with May, but honey, May got a lot of shit with it, okay? All right, we're having oh, so many technological issues. But anyways, I feel like what's going on, people are wondering, where the fuck y'all been at? Where the fuck y'all been at? Like, what's going on with you? I'm going to do an eight-card spread. All right, so let me go ahead and give y'all the tea. Okay, so first things first, of course, you got people here who are trying to figure out, like, where are you at? Where are you, like, where have you been? Who have you been around? Or, like, you know, what you been up to? I feel like for some of y'all, you could have, like, went, went cold, went quiet, or it's giving, like, zero dark 30. Like, hold on, y'all, because I did some other readings in the cards. It's just all in the way. Um... But yeah, with the four cups, I feel like what's going on. You have people here who are unsatisfied. Like you may be um, breadcrumbing people, not really giving people a lot of energy, um, attention, or gossip or anything to go off on news-wise. But also, you could be in this energy of like four cups. You could be trying to get what you want or get what you need to get done. Also, you could definitely be. Um, I'm gonna know. I'm getting like a spoonful of something. Like somebody could be eating a spoonful of like black eyed peas. Okay. Or like some type of beans could be a significance here. Like, also somebody need to take care of your teeth. I don't know. I'm hearing like my shiny teeth. Then me, like somebody could be going to the dentist, getting their teeth done, getting veneers. All right, getting some type of plastic surgery. Um, you know, or getting some type of modif uh, modification. You know, working on interior design, working on a new career. I'm getting just this energy where like y'all. You know, y'all be MIA, solo, dolo, or like people trying to bring out where the fuck y'all at? Where the fuck you been at? Okay, but you could just be like, look, I'm just taking care of myself. I'm eradicating anything or anybody's holding anything back in my life, including myself. I'm becoming a better version of myself. But I feel like people who are like are your partners, your friends, your family, your coworkers, whatever it is, they're wondering where the fuck you at. All right, and I feel like what's going on here with three energy and the deception card, what's going on is like, you know, um, People could have also gotten used to hearing your name or things being all about you or you showing up and showing out, looking good, feeling better. Or like, you know how, for some of you guys, you may do like stand-up comedy, you may do like poetry, you may post music, do content, whatever it is. And like, you know, somebody's announcing you, somebody's saying they can't wait and it's like, bitch, they never showed up. Or this could be energy like, maybe you go to work and maybe you have some days off of work, okay, um, etc. Alright, but I feel like what's going on is that like y'all are winners. And you know what they say when the winners start disappearing, the losers start appearing. So also um people could definitely be around a bunch of losers or idiotic people or etc. And they're like, yo, yo, where's the query set, yo? They quick to kick these losers or these people or these ballers or whatever it is out the way. Somebody could also be playing a lot of video games here. Yeah, somebody could be playing a lot of video games. Also, I feel like some of you guys here, um, you could have also had a successful divorce, successful marriage, success, uh, successful breakup, or like something of that sort. Or like you're bouncing back in a way where it's like, oh, you went quiet on us. We didn't know what the fuck was going on. You know what I'm saying? And if other guys, you could just simply be pregnant. You're pregnant. You're working on a new idea. You got something new, bright, and exciting in your life. And I feel like it's, it's taking all your energy, your might, your time, your efforts. Every motherfucking thing. Okay? And people trying to figure out, like, what the fuck is going on? And also, for some of you guys here, you could just be simply trying to get into grind mode, all right? Get your money right, get your finances right, paying things back, um, you know, working on your credit score, you know, saving, getting, you know, the list goes on. But I feel like this is what y'all could really just be, you know, focused on. But let's see what people are saying about y'all, okay? What are they saying about the Grace Collective since they've been gone? Yeah, page of wands but some of you guys say you could have somebody in a younger energy here or like in a more um spicy sporadic energy and i feel like what's going on this 
person six of swords they could be trying to say they want to get into karma wars with you they want to be back on your good side or more importantly i feel like they're trying to figure out has your attraction died down or like whatever it is because somebody i'm not sure this is romantic or platonic but somebody could be trying to figure out like damn is they not feeling me no more is they not fucking with me no more is they not you know what i'm saying okay yeah or, or like you could be at a distance from there it could be distance between you and this person or little to no communication but queen of pentacles i feel like you've been on some ball shit all right and this person you know paid the wands i'm not saying that i don't know ball shit but they on some fun type shit yeah eight of cups reverse yeah, i feel like you could have turned your back on this person okay and i feel like they three pentacles they could be asking other people like if they see they heard from you they know what's going on in your life or what's going on with the judgment card but i feel like you could be making up your mind about you know your hopes your dreams your faith what you're invested in who you're invested in who's going to go straight to the next level with the four swords energy you could also be resting up here but two of pentacles i feel like this is somebody here who knows they've been two-faced or fake or phony with the cherry card they never thought you was going to cut them off or they thought you was going to compete or try to like you know 777 could be a significance like you wasn't just going to excuse yourself in a way where it's like bitch i'm not finna fight to make you a priority and make me a priority or i'm not going to fight for the death to somehow you know be a part of this friend group okay or this shared space in some type of way let's see what else motherfuckers been saying about you okay also with the ace of swords <clears throat> two of wands People could be saying that um, you've been MIA because I feel like you've been receiving a lot of truth, a lot of wisdom, and not a, a lot of knowledge here. Or I'm getting you working with the big boys now. You can have a lot of power through your wands. Or I'm getting like you're somehow the handler of something. Like you're the handler or something where it's like, you know, if I fuck up, the whole fucking world is doomed or something is just ruined. Okay? It's giving an energy like, you know, when they say great power comes great responsibility. Or you could be like... Somebody who you handle a lot of cash, a lot of clients, celebrities, something of the sort, or something that is time sensitive, energy sensitive, whatever it is. And it's like, yo, if I mix one wrong thing, or this could even be you like working in the lab, creating something, doing cell work, doing rituals, routines, whatever. And it's like, yo, if I fuck up, boom, that goes everything else. You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, we got people here who also saying like, you know, um, they miss when you help them. They miss the information or things that you have gave them or said to them here. All right. Um, but let's see what's going on here. Since you've been gone, what, what's the tea on you, Aquarius? You got the yellow card. Okay, so caution now approaching. Let's see what's going on. Yes, yeah, I love New York. But more importantly, I love Aquarius. So for some of you guys, since you've been gone here, you could have a multitude of men, women, whoever these people are um, who have some type of devotion or commitment towards you or they really love or admire you in some type of way. Um, they trying to figure out where the fuck you at because I feel like what's going on yeah they could be concerned with you or more importantly there could be a plan to where these people could have been trying to corner you or funnel you into picking like one person or dealing with one person or you know devoting or spoiling or doing whatever it is alright um, and they feel like they trying to figure out like okay who's going to get yeah six of wands who's going to be riding on the high horse with them who's going to be experiencing this with them who's going to be you know what, what I'm saying with the queen of swords all right, um, all of you guys here, there is somebody here who released some type of spirited entity, all right? This could be like to haunt you or your dream state to give you nightmares or somehow to fuck with you in some type of way. But the thing is that you've been gone, you ain't been saying too much, or you've been solo dolo, okay? And I thought the reason why they released the spirit, because they could have thought you was on a vacation with somebody, or you could be manifesting a vacation or whatever it is, but I feel like you need to do an egg cleanse, Okay? But this person's trying to figure out if it's working or like what's going on. Whatever they wanted the spirit to do, this could be like something regarding like if it's not a vacation with your person, this could be like, you know, you and your person ducking off or like whatever y'all got going on behind the scenes. All right, but yeah, you need to do an egg cleanse here. Um, but I'm seeing a lot of you guys, you could be glowing at this current time being here. And people could be trying to figure out like, damn, you're glowing. How the fuck, you know, you glowing. But I do see motherfuckers playing telephone about you. Okay. Guys has been in being messy. All right, or talking about you on a lunch break about how you look and what got you glowing and all that stuff, but it ain't nothing but a whole bunch of unwanted opinions, anyways. Okay, let's see what else going on since y'all been gone. I feel like y'all been taking a long journey, or I've been gone for too long, think it's time to bring it back. Okay, and I feel like some of y'all. <laughs> Here come your comments in flame trying to bring you back. Like that boom boom in your trunk, okay? Yeah, blank card. This person may not be saying anything, or you may not have heard nothing from this person. Some of you guys here, they could have went and had a new baby with somebody else. Or dealing with somebody who got a baby, a new baby. 
yeah this person thinks that um they are solid towards you even on bad terms when it was really you who was solid even on bad terms and you was real but yeah this person plotting on you this person is trying to develop some new plot on you honey they snooping in your business trying to figure out where the fuck you at what's going on why they can't get eyes on you all right um next for some of you guys so you could have had an, a head a mental or some type of injury to your body here either in the past couple of days or next couple of days this could be happening or you could just realize something is just not working like it usually does when it comes to your body you could have definitely need to go get a checkup or you know definitely get your body seen all right for us you guys here heavy influences why do we have heavy influences yeah, so I feel like nostalgic things in places. So you know how they say, but she don't even know me anymore. When I see that car, it makes me think of Fabulous, like the rapper. It's old take one, two, and three from back in the day, like when you used to be listening on Spinrilla and like live mistakes and like Young Thug used to come on there and all that. Like that's nostalgic to me. Or like, you know, the early 2000s, the 90s, the 80s, the 70s. Like this nostalgic to me. And I feel like what's going on, um, you may like, since you've been gone, I feel like what's going on, you may be taking in like nostalgic things and places and like being influenced by that. All right. And I feel like you could definitely be bringing that back with y'all. For others of you guys here, love locked down. We have a love lockdown. We have a situation, okay? Monsters Inc. could be a significance. Yeah, but something is hidden here. Could this card be on the fall? On the floor, so motherfucking bad. It's something that's hidden here. I feel like somebody's crying. Somebody's crying. I feel like they want to communicate effectively with you, but either you ain't be communicating with them or whatever it is, and then I have bitches want to fight. So I feel like it's a couple things hidden right now. You got somebody who's crying over y'all. They trying to keep that shit hidden because I yeah, this person could be crying over you because I feel like they could have stole something from you, your likeness, your items, your energy, or whatever it is. And I feel like when you took a time out, when you backed up from them, or you kind of just pulled your energy back, period, this person was very upset. They was crying because they knew that you knew. And it's the same person who sent a spirit your way that I mentioned earlier. All right, for other you guys here, what's hitting with this love lockdown thing is that, yeah, the universe says so. So I feel like you could be locking down your love life or like, you know pink card that could be a significance some type of passion is a significance yeah i don't love you i feel like what's going on the universe could be locking down your love like because i feel like what's going on what's hidden is that somebody really don't love you you know they really don't but they only fuck with you because you the shit like fleas or they fuck with you because that's the feeling that you give them yeah this person could have a lot of secret shady ass conversations either about you or just Shit, they don't got no business. But last call, that says never let your right hand know what your left hand doing. So this person could be sneaky as fuck. That's what's being hidden. Also, what's going on? Bitches want to fight. This is what's hidden. You got some bitches or a bitch that want to fight y'all. And since you've been gone, this bitch could be saying like, oh, y'all scurry or whatever it is. Yeah, this could be like an April Taurus or a Taurus period. Yeah, it says go watch nostalgic shows and videos. Um, You may see that popping up as well too. And if us, you guys say, you may have a bitch that want to fight you because you could have bought something new or you got some type of new accessory, clothes, shoes, car, home, whatever the fuck it is, hair, wig, whatever. And I feel like this person wanted it. All right. And then you got bitches want to fight you because I feel like you won't change. Like you won't accommodate. You won't like turn into one of these my fin, um, these mighty Morphin BBL Rangers. Like you won't turn into that or you won't turn into these Cloud Chaser 5000s or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, we have Agent Mulder and, and Agent Scully. So there could be somebody here that you work with um, or you deal with alongside you or like you you have to deal with this person a lot. Like this could be like regarding work, studies, influences, or out and about um, or whatever it is. It could also be like if you work at a club or somewhere doing nighttime stuff or something that's like different that you make money from or whatever it is. But yeah, somebody want to fight y'all. Okay, and then a bitch may also want to fight y'all as well too. I feel like you could be catching flights and changing your directions and not really stunting a motherfucker, and they can't even do that. They ain't having no emotion. Yeah, a secret spy in plain sight. It's a bitch here who could also be saying that you a secret fucking spy, but that bitch really messy as fuck. Okay, yeah, last card. Yeah, you're so sweet. This is how you know it's that bitch. She gonna say you so sweet, you so nice, or some shit like that. That bitch got problems. Yeah, yeah, this person ego large in life, but they may feel like it's about you. But I feel like you're Stanley Yonex. Also, there could be somebody who's a molester in your family who wants to fight you as well, too. Um, but I feel like what's going on with hidden is that somebody wants y'all to communicate effectively. Yeah, somebody could want y'all to uh, communicate effectively because this person could be confused. It could be somebody I have children with, baby mama, baby daddy, something like that. Okay. But I feel like what's going on here is that. Um, you be having unwanted encounters with this person. 
or like you're really not even fucking with them. You know what I'm saying? And it's so funny. I might have pulled another one because I literally just got a brain fart. Well, I didn't even know what this fucking reading was about. Let's see. Why did I get that brain fart just now, Spirit? What are they trying to hide? What are they trying to hide here from the Aquarius Collective? All right. So, we have a C names. All right. So, somebody's name could start with a C or an L. And I feel like since you've been gone, whoever names these is, they trying to figure out what do you believe. So, I feel like somebody could have did something, but, like, you're not sure if you need to believe them. Yeah, you give me peace of mind. Hmm. Gemini, Pisces, Virgo, Sagittarius. It says tilling on themselves. So that's why I kind of had to yeah, lose my mind. That's why I had a brain fart. So I feel like what's going on. Somebody could try to say that you bring them peace of mind here. Somebody name will start with a C, a L. But I feel like this person tilling on themselves. They could also be a mutable sign. Gemini, Pisces, Virgo, Sagittarius, or have it in a sun, moon, rising. This person's like tilling on themselves. But the thing is that they're trying to figure out what you believe i feel like you could have definitely fall back or you hadn't really been saying nothing five 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 fifteen fifty five you could be seeing fives like crazy but this person telling on themselves and they could be losing their mind here because you're not believing them or you should not believe them okay but like i said since you've been gone here um you're there could be this energy where like somebody could be trying to make it seem like they don't yeah a karmic friend they don't have time for you they could be upset because you went gone or you ghost or something like that. First, it could be a nail tick or a hair a stylist, but it's the way that somebody was raised here. Whoever this karmic friend is, since you've been gone, yeah, you and them could have an inseparable connection. But I feel like with you, it's easy to deal with them or like it's easy for y'all to be cool and shit. But you come to the conclusion that, yeah, rain doesn't last forever. This person is a karmic friend. I feel like y'all may love each other more than anything, but it doesn't excuse that this person is a karmic. And I feel like the person is a karmic because the way that they was raised or who raised them. But this person could be acting like they don't have time for you or they ain't really fucking with you. But let's see why. Because of, this could be like because your beliefs and also because this person feels like you're fake. They feel like you're fake as fuck. They feel like you're fake as fuck. That's what it is. Yeah, and this person could also be tempted by something somebody else did or said as well, too. All right, but this person could be um, wasting your time, or they could be saying they refuse to waste their time to even deal with you. Wow. Mm -hmm. Mm. Let's see what else is going on here. Since you've been gone here, you have somebody who's been calling y'all a fucking hoe. I got somebody who's been calling y'all a, a fucking hoe, but this person is a spiritual jail already. Or this could even be like because of that. Yeah, whoever this person is, somebody here says, I wish you could see things through my eyes. This person always wants you to see things through their motherfucking perspective or how the fuck they feel. But I feel like you could be turned off by this person. Or like they could be in spiritual jail or, you know, they could act like they turned off from you. But yeah, meeting up with a past person. This could be somebody from your past, all right? But I feel like you need to leave this person alone. Or they could be trying to meet up with you, but I feel like you need to leave this person alone. All right, yeah. This person could be intimidated by your light here. And I feel like what's going on, the most high God is, um, you know, handling this person. Tooth and nail. I just keep getting the energy. Yeah. Just keep on shining here. Also, I feel like what's going on, you may see this person in your energy here. But I feel like this person's um, intentions was to create something with you. But I feel like since you were treated from their energy, this person's been calling you a hoe and all this other shit. But... It's because they got somebody in their ear changing their mind about you. So that's really where all that shit came from. But that motherfucker in Portugal jail with them too. And what was in their ear was the enemy from either your or their past life. Last card. Um, but yeah, I feel like they thought it was going to be hired or promoted. Or they listen to what this person is saying. Somehow they was going to benefit in some type of way. Ooh, but yeah. This person could have been a judgy Bible thumper as well too. Who was doing and saying all that shit. Mm -mm -mm. Anyways. Anyways, let's see what else is going on. So we got cow tongue and we got the massive number 33. Let's see what else is going on. Since you've been gone, I feel like people thought that you was gone. Like they silenced you, they closed your throat chakra up, they interfered with your spiritual gifts, or they could have thought like, oh, okay, well, you know, we got them to shut the fuck up. So, you know, whatever it is. But I feel like the whole time you were sitting back getting clarity. You were sitting back getting wisdom, getting guidance. Or you already had that shit. You was waiting for the right time. You had to school these motherfuckers. For some of you guys here, you could have literally been in spiritual school, physical school. Or somebody could have tried to put the spell of also um, stagnation. Not only on you, but your life, your throat chakra, etc. here. Alright, and you could be arguing with like hoes or arguing with lovers. Okay, and this, this is why. 
yeah motherfuckers was saying that she was crazy and they was trying to treat you on purpose or setting up the stage all this shit was a motherfucking setup or it will be a setup all right um Let's go ahead and see what you need to know moving forward. All right, like this video, comment down below if you're still here. Uh, moving forward, collective, what you need to know is that the month of March is of significance. Somebody could be like a Taurus or an Aries. I think March is like Pisces or Aries. That's what it is. Um, but what's going on here, you're going to see that karma's going to be eating this person alive. Don't help them. Don't say shit to their ass. Also, what's going on, which I need to know is that... Um, moving forward somebody's gonna try to chump y'all off here and they're gonna make you in karma for that a pisces or aries or more importantly you may have to chump this motherfucker off and right after that day karma gonna come um also moving forward here what you need to know is that somebody's gonna be trying to say come and see y'all for once they want to see y'all but don't go and see them because you're gonna be taking on this person's karma okay and you're gonna be right on the case you know how sometimes when they do cases on people and it's like who is this person of interest you're gonna end up being a person of interest baby don't do it don't do it i don't know what's making me think that Nicki minaj song really i'm sorry i'm really just a lady i rock some some you know slim shady like i can't remember the name of the song is it massive attack no nah, it ain't that Anyways, some of you guys say you will be partying a lot more. Or you'll be going to a party or something like that here. Um, and having a great time. But don't do no crazy ass shit. Because whatever the fuck you're going to do, know that you're going to have to be held accountable. Or more importantly, somebody could be going to a party or hanging out with some people and shit like that. Doing shit they don't got no business. And I feel like you're going to have to hold this person accountable. Also, I'm getting out of sight, out of mind here. So I feel like what's going on. You, um, somebody may want you to forgive them, but I feel like out of sight, out of mind. When they're not in your face, you don't give a fuck about them. And it ain't even you don't give a fuck, you just not think about them. Or somebody could be feeling this way about y'all. All right, um, let's move forward. Also, moving forward here, somebody's going to be tapping out. Yeah, somebody's going to be tapping out here. And this is going to be like monetary. Like, somebody could have been trying to go band for band, bag for bag, money for money, or whatever for whatever, okay? But I feel like they're going to be tapping out trying to compete with you also this could be somebody here for a small percentage of you guys this person slept with one of your relatives or your siblings or something like that all right this person like envious of you let's see what's going on moving forward it says yeah for some of you guys so you're going to realize that somebody has cameras watching you when you're alone or in your home here or if you're already dealing with this i feel like what's going on here you're going to somehow get through the smoke and mirrors also what's going on you're going to have somebody here as well who's going to try to catch you being an alcoholic catch you smoking weed or somehow catch you doing something all right that you don't have no business or try to blackmail you with it all right and if us you guys here you will be having the sole family member here that's going to be very significant okay um but the thing is that this person will have a secret same-sex lover okay that's their business all right but this is one of your sole family members here i feel like what's going on this person could be trying to heal their trauma regarding their sexuality what's going on you guys may cross paths here this person may be getting convicted here or their person is also um or somebody else that y'all know could be getting convicted also what's coming moving forward it says the x marks the spot why do we have that energy yeah a cover up is going to be exposed in y'all family july august september october all right during these months so that's the energy like the zodiac signs involved and last but not least moving forward let's go ahead and see what else we need to know all right, moving forward here. I feel like you're going to realize somebody's going to be running their mouth. Somebody was running their mouth about y'all. They're going to be stopped in their tracks. Yeah. And they're going to realize that they should have never even said or put their mouth on y'all. Also, what's going on? Wrong way, wrong turn, wrong move. You may end up making one or somebody else is going to make one. And somebody's going to end up wanting to be alone. It's going to be you. Yeah, I have your love by Nicki Minaj. That song could be a significance or the vibe. Also, what's going on? It says cut off your finger to save your hand. You may have to... You know, do something like that. Also, you're going to realize that somebody is too good to be true. And you may want to isolate yourself because somebody is really just lusting over you or your body. Um, but, yeah. Somebody want to taste y'all, you need to make a plan. Period. Or they going to make a plan. 